the Red Sox and Blue Jays played the longest game of the season at 19 innings up 2-0 in the top of the ninth, and the Red Sox struggling on a fence all night, the Blue Jays probably thought they had a win over Boston in the bag. That would not be so. With a ground out each from Hanley Ramirez and Mitch Moreland, Andrew Benintendi and Mookie Betts would score on back-to-back at-bats to tie the game. That game would stay tied for the next 10 innings. Yes, the two teams locked horns through the 19th inning with neither of them scoring a run. It is now the longest game in the baseball this season by innings, besting the Yankees and Cubs' 18-inning game from March. Those left watching were exhausted and pretty much hoped the Red Sox would just cheat and end it already so people could head to bed. That didn't happen, I mean, as far as we know, so the game continued deep into the night. Earlier in the game, the Blue Jays had a chance to put a batter on base and possibly score some additional runs, but Mookie Betts spoiled that plan with a remarkable catch in right field. After 18 innings of fairly sedate baseball, Josh Donaldson injected some excitement to the proceedings with an ejection in the top of the 18th for arguing balls and strikes. That excitement involved a variety of flowery language and the good old-fashioned enthusiastically demonstrate how wrong you think the umpire's strike zone was strategy, before he went to the clubhouse. Other than that, the most stimulating moment was when the game was over thanks to Hanley Ramirez's walk-off bloop to the outfield which sent Mookie Betts home and mercifully end the six-hour game at long last. It was the eighth walk-off RBI of Ramirez's career and Boston's tenth walk-off win of the season. But the most important part is that it ended, finally. This game lasted, so long Mitch Moreland changed ages. The Red Sox famously outlasted the Yankees in a 19-inning outing game back in 2015 that took nearly seven hours. This game didn't last quite that long, but playing two 19-inning games in the span of three seasons falls in a gray area somewhere between that's a cool stat and how badly do you hate your fans. This game also tied the Blue Jays' franchise record for innings played which has happened twice before. It was the second longest game in Fenway Park history. On the plus side, considering the Red Sox and Yankees usually take four and a half hours just to play nine innings the pace of this game was actually pretty zippy. Boston set a franchise record with 13 scoreless innings from their bullpen, which you need a lot of innings to even have a shot at doing, so that's also a pretty neat thing to think about. Whichever fun stats get you through a 19-inning marathon, do it. That's this writer's advice that was learned firsthand somewhere around inning 15 or so. That was fun, guys, but next time you feel the need to play a game double the length it should be without any sort of scoring or offense, please reconsider. Some fans enjoy their sleep schedule and can only handle this much free baseball every once in a while. That's probably enough baseball to tie people over for at least a few days. Everybody take a rest, sync up your Apple Watches, and reconvene later this week to start enjoying the sport again once this game gets out of your system.